Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? Aha, ¿qué estaban hablando? Ah, what are you talking about? Me agarró la tarde. I'm sorry. Two minutes late. Les voy a robar dos minutos de su tiempo at the end, guys. I'm sorry. What's up? How are you? Fine. How are you? Oh, yeah? Excellent. And you, teacher? And you, teacher Caleb, how are you? How <laughs> are you, teacher Caleb? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Of course. Of course. Welcome. Welcome to the class. Welcome to the class, everyone. Welcome to the class. I'm going to go over the attendance. Vamonos a la asistencia. Go over the attendance now. Let me check. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Come on in. Come on in. Good yes, evening. Good evening. Be my guest. Be my guest. Good evening. How are you? Actually. All right. Waiting for class. Waiting for the class. All right. Me too. Me Waiting too. Let's go. Um, Alejandro Jose Lopez Diaz. Ana Graciela Ramos Garcia. Present teacher. Thank you. Andrea Michelle Marroquín Mejía. Present teacher. Bessie Elizabeth Mendoza de Soriano. Brenda Carolina Mejía Miranda. Present teacher. Thank you much. Brenda Elizabeth Beltran Perez. Present. Thank you much. Carlos Alexander Reyes Guevara. Here I am. Thank you much. Cesar Waldi Ramirez Perez. Present. Welcome home. Daniel Ruben Barrera Barraza. Here I am. Already. Del mi Yesenia Casco de Cienfuegos. Eric Ronaldo Rosales Perez. Present teacher. Be my guest. Estela Guadalupe Maravilla Prieto. Thank you much. Fernando Josué Guzmán Escobar. Gardenia Lisset Portillo Trigueros. Present. Excellent. Glenda Lisset Ortiz de la O. Ahí está, ahí está, ahí está. Sí. Thank you. Appreciate it, guys. Appreciate it. Gracias por decirme. Thank you, guys. Um, Hilda Gisela Shaste Torres. Present. Hilda, excellent. Isa Mari Beatriz Valencia Flores. Jennifer Saraí Vigil Umansor. Present teacher. Already, Miss. And Jenny Arely Rodriguez Alba Al Alfaro. Georgina Elizabeth Lemus Perez. Present teacher. Already. Jorge Eric Ramirez Ramos. Jose David Leiva Rivas. Good evening. Hi. Welcome, uh, David. What's up, David? Present, present. Thank you. All right, sir. Uh, Jose David Monge Leiva. Present, teacher. Welcome to class, David. Be my guest. Jose Miguel Soriano Rivera. Jose Samuel Ramos Castaneda. Here I am, teacher. Excellent. Jocelyn Stephanie Peña Ayala. Present, teacher. Wonderful. 
Jocelyn Stephanie Bautista Zuniga. Here I am, teacher. Great. Juan Antonio González Vides. Juan Carlos López Ayala. Carla Patricia Cruz Rosales. Here I am, teacher. All right, thank you. Welcome to class. Y ahí estamos. You're the last one. Excellent, excellent. Very well. Thank you then. Thank you then for your punctuality. Okay, let me go ahead and open the platform. What did we study in the last class? Do you remember what did we study? Just no questions in, in uh, where questions would be, right? Okay, who can give me a where question with B? Where is or where are? Can you make a question? Yes? Hay interferencia. Hay interferencia. Give me one second. Perdimos al teacher. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> hello. Hello, teacher. Así se la escucha. Ahí estamos. Ok, ok, ok. I'm okay. sorry, guys. Gracias que siempre me dicen, guys. Es importante que me digan todo eso, right? Si no me escucho, si hay problemas, si hay interferencias, si hay un compañero que ha dejado el micrófono abierto. Todos tenemos que apoyarnos en eso, a manera que esta hora pues sea lo más disfrutable y, y lo más aprovechable posible, right? Entonces, habíamos visto uh, just no questions. En questions with where, preguntas con where, de dónde, right? Where is the, where are the, right? Vimos también negative statements, negative statements. For example, I am not from Peru. Yes. Yes. My teacher. Go ahead. Eh, a donde teníamos que mandar el audio de tarea que nos dejó ayer al grupo. Al grupo de WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Vimos también los negative statements, right? Eh, en tercera persona, he she or it. ¿Quién me puede dar un negative statement en tercera persona usando he, she or it? He yep. is not he Repeat. is not a secretary. Not. He is not he is not a, a secretary. He is not his secretary. Okay, next. No more? He is not at work. He is not working. He is not working. Él no está trabajando. trabajando. Correcto. Está como que unemployed, ¿verdad? Desempleado. All right. Very nice. Very nice. En plural, plural. A ver, plural. You, we, or they. Negative statement. They are not they are not friends. They are not friends. Repeat. They are not friends. They are classmates. Continue. No more. 
We are not dancers. We are not dancers. Dancers. No somos bailarines. We are not dancers. Hey, nice. Con it. Se estoy hablando de una cosa. It's not a person. It is not. Or it isn't. If it's not black. Not or not. It is not. It is not black. It is not. It is not rain today. It is not raining. It is not raining. Con ING. It is not raining today. Raining today. Raining. Raining. Hoy no está lloviendo. No está lloviendo, ajá. It is not raining. Mm -hmm. It's not raining. No more? Okay, practice your negative statements, guys. Practice your negative statements, please. Let me go ahead and share my screen. Vamos al siguiente contenido. One second. Here we go. Okay, so the objective tonight is become familiar with two syllable stress. This is for pronunciation purposes. Check it out. Numbers from one, oh, I'm sorry, from 11 to 103. Numbers and H's. Let's check this out. Only listen. And the age of relatives and friends. Hi everyone. In this class you'll become familiar with the numbers from 11 to 103. And talk about your age and the age of relatives and friends. Let's start by listening to a quick conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Who's that? He's my brother. Wow, he's cute. What's his name? James. We call him Jim. Oh, how old is he? He's 21 years old. What's he like? I bet he's nice. Yes, he is. And he's very smart, too. And who's that? My sister Tammy. She's only 12. Now let's practice expressing the numbers. Listen and repeat. 11. 12. 11. 13. 14. 15. 16. 17. 18. 19. 19. 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 25, 27, 28, 29, 30, 40, 50, 60, 60, 60, 70, 70, 80, 90, 80, 90, 80, 90, 80, 90, 80, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, Okay, guys, I need you to make a difference in pronunciation uh, from these numbers. Let me see. All the numbers from 13 to 19, todos ellos llevan la palabra teen, okay? Teen significa adolescente, viene de la palabra 
teenager. Repeat, mm. teenager. Teenager, teenager es un adolescente, ¿ok? Entonces, teenager. por eso, todos los que del 13 al 19 son teenagers. Llevan el teen. Teen. Entonación hacia arriba. Teen. A ver, a ver. Tar, tartin. 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 Fourteen. Fifteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Seventeen. Entonación hacia arriba. Seventeen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Nineteen. Hasta ahí, ¿verdad? Entonces todos ellos llevan Teen, entonación hacia arriba. Cuando son decenas, la entonación va hacia abajo. Terminan con TY, con la T y la Y. Por ejemplo, 20. Repeat, 20. 20. 20. 20. 30. Seven, 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 eighty, 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 ninety, ninety, ninety. Okay, entonces esos llevan la entonación hacia abajo, right? Podemos uh, repetir por favor trece y treinta. ¿Cómo les quedaría? Thirteen. 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 A ver ustedes, 14 versus 40, ¿cómo les queda? 15 y 50. 15 16 16 16 16 16 16 16 16 16 16 16 16 16 16 16 16 16 16 16 16 16 16 16 16 16 16 16 16 16 16 16 16 16 16 16 Now, dieciocho y ochenta. Dieciocho. 18 18 18 18 18 18 18 18 18 18 18 18 18 18 18 18 18 one hundred. One hundred. One hundred and one. For example, one hundred and one. One hundred and one. Cuando ya es un minuto, right? One hundred and three. One minute after, right? Una pasada ya los cien dólares ahí. 
Cabalito 100, 100. 100, right? Pueden decir 101 o pueden decir 101. Si ustedes prefieran ahí. Más fácil, 101. 101, más práctico, ¿verdad? Vamos a deactivate mic microphones, please. Everybody deactivate microphones, los desactivamos y todo repitiendo en casita fuerte y claro la pronunciación de los números. Fuerte y claro. Numbers pronunciation. My sister Tammy. Pero con los micrófonos desactivados, please. 13. 12. 13. And repeat. 11. 12, 24, 100, 101, 102, 103. Now is your turn to and on After you record yourself, you will need to share the link on our discussion forums. Excellent, guys. Let's go ahead and practice the conversation. Let's practice the conversation real He's quick. He's my brother. Everybody listen and repeat. Who's that? Repeat. Who's that? Who's, Who's that? that? Who's, Who's that? that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Right? Repeat. He's my brother. He's my brother. He's my brother. He's cute. He's cute. He's cute. He's cute. What's his name? What's, What's his name? name? What's his What's name? His What's name? his name? His name. What's his name? What's, What's his, his name? name? What's his name? What's his name? Excellent. Porque estamos hablando de él, right? El sucesivo es his. Okay. His name. James. We call Jim. him, le llamamos a él. We call him Jim. We call him Jim. We call him Jim. Um, we how old is he? Oh, how old is he? How old is he? How old is he? He's 21 years old. He is 21 years old. He is 21 years old. What's he like? Apuntemos aparte de esa pregunta. What's. Pongamos what apostrophe. What? El sujeto. Like. ¿Cómo interpretan esa, esa pregunta? Yo puedo ser um, de lugar, de personas, right? ¿Qué le gusta? Fíjese qué bonito, porque like en una oración afirmativa es gustar, like. Ajá. Pero en pregunta. Eh, sería como la forma de ser. ¿Cómo es él? Correcto. Es como cómo, ¿verdad? En este caso, description. Cuando les haga una pregunta con what's y al final like, les estoy pidiendo descripción. Al que sea una descripción corta, guys. Porque ella dijo, uh, le preguntó, what's, he, what's his name? Uh, we call him Jim, right? Y aquí le dice, what's he like? What's he like? ¿Cómo es él? Y Jill le dice, um, he's very smart. Que es bien inteligente. 
no fue la mayor descripción, right? Pero por lo menos se dio un adjetivo para describirlo. Ok. Guys, si yo les digo, what's El Salvador like? ¿Qué me dirían? What's El Salvador like? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Repeat. It is beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. ¿Por qué? Porque uh -huh. estoy hablando de un lugar, right? Okay. So yo les digo, um, what's what's your brother or your sister like? Please. Repeat. Is or she is very funny. Correct. Correct. Okay, excellent. Sigamos acá. How old is he? Repeat. How old is he? How old is How old is he? He is twenty one oh. years old. He's, he's twenty one years old. Years old. Okay. What's he like? What's, What's he like? He like? I, I bet. Te apuesto a apostar. Bet. bet. I bet, bet he's I bet nice. He's nice. I bet he's nice. Te apuesto a que es chévere, es buena onda. Nice, right? Nice. Jill says, yes, he is. Repeat, yes, he is. Yes, he is. And he's very smart, too. And he's very smart, and he too. Is, and, and, and he is... Very smart very, too. Smart too. Very smart too. Que él también he is, es bien inteligente. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, repeat. And who's that? And who's that? Y quién es aquella, verdad? O aquel que está en esta foto. And who's that? Jill says, my sister Tammy. My sister my Tammy. 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 She's only 12. She's only 12. She is the baby of the family. She is the baby of the family. Very nice. Any question about the conversation or vocabulary? Una pregunta, teacher. Ahí cuando ella le dice de que es su hermana Tani, ¿por qué no le pone el apóstrofe O? Si le está diciendo que ella tiene tantos años. O así le entiendo, por lo menos yo. Donde dice, ¿cómo me dijo? She's Mr. only 12. She's only 12. She's, she's, oh, he's, 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 en la última, Jill, my sister Tani, she's, she's only 12. She's only 12. Ella Pero tiene... Ella está diciendo que tiene 12 años. Oh, sí. uh -huh. Pero ¿por qué no le pone el O? El O, como el cero. El O. Uh, oh, how old no. are you? I am um, 46 years old. Ahí le, la palabra O, O, L, D, no, 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 no está. Ah, ok. Solo puso ah, el número, correcto. Ajá, exacto. Le se parte. puede, se puede. Ajá. Nosotros les pedimos a ustedes que lo pongan siempre el years old, que es años de edad, ¿verdad? Porque les, les tratamos de inculcar que uh, hagan la respuesta completa. Sí, puedes decir solo el número, pero preferiblemente sería unir ahí con years old. Muy buena observación, Carlos, right? Yes. Okay, let's practice this conversation a little bit. Practice the conversation a little bit. Teacher Kalev is Jill. Okay, students are Emma. Ready, Emma's? Ready, Emma's? Okay. Three, two, one. Ready. Go. Who is that? Who's that? Who's that? He's my brother. Oh, oh he's my what's what his what name? Is his name? James. James. We call him Jim. Oh. 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 oh, he is 21 years old. What's he like? What's he like? I, What's bet, he's he's like? Nice. I bet he's nice. 
Yes, he is. And he's very smart too. Um, who's that? that? Oh, who's that? My sister Tammy. She's only 12. She is the baby of the family. Que es como que la, la bebé de la familia, la menor, ¿verdad? The youngest. Okay. Now I start, okay? Ready? Wait, Who's that? Ready. Who's that? He's my brother. He's my brother. Wow, he's cute. What's his name? And how old is he? He's 21, He's 21, years, 21 years old. 21 years old. Years, plural, years old. Years old. Years old. And what's he like? I bet he's nice. Yes, yes. he is. He is. Uh, he's very he's smart. smart. He's very smart too. And who's that? My sister, My sister Tammy. 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 She's only one. She's the baby of the family. Very nice. Let me see if I can share with you a little link. Give me one second. It says... Okay, I'm gonna send you a link, okay? Creo que me lo pueden poner en el grupo de WhatsApp también. If you can be so kind. And watch the video. Tienen tres minutos, three minutes. Watch the video, watch the video. Watch the video. Watch the video. You have three minutes. Watch the video. Finish. Finish watching the video. Finish watching the video. Okay, ready? Finish? Yes. Excellent, excellent. All right, similar to what we're looking at. Ahora, vamos a ver el último video. Vamos a ver el último. Me lo compartieron en el WhatsApp. 
Carlos, can you help me? ¿Ah? Eh, ahorita, ahorita ya se lo comparto. Va, ahí está el otro, ahí está el otro. Watch the second one. Solo es dos, tres minutos más. Three more minutes. Watch the second one. Póngame los dos de un solo, Carlitos. Please, thank you. Hola, teacher, una pregunta. Uh -huh. Hola. Yes, yes, miss, adelante. Do you listen to me? Sí, miss, adelante. No me escucha usted. Ok, he estado teniendo problemas con el micrófono. Mm, ese es el problema, sí, porque yo le escucho ahorita bien. Ok, ni en la asistencia no me escucha. Vaya, entonces, espérenme, permítanme. What is your name? Glenda, Glenda Ortiz. De la O. Ah, ok. Yo pues sé que sus compañeros siempre me dicen. Dígame, dígame. Adelante. No, solo saludándolo. Tío. Oh, Fernando. What's up, Fernando? Hey, are you watching the videos? ¿Me estás viendo los videos? ¿You watching the videos? Sí, ahora. Oh, ok, ok. Okay, good, good, good. Three minutes, guys, three minutes. Teacher. Yes. Una consulta ahorita que me han regresado. Me han regresado varios. Eh, ¿Por qué en algunos negativos? Eso creo que casi ya lo dejamos. Pero ¿por qué en algunos negativos se ocupa el eh, contraído y en otros no? Porque en los negativos tienes esa opción de decirlo normal, de decir la contracción del sujeto con el verbo to be y luego la negation word, o puedes hacer eh, el sujeto y hacer la contracción del verbo to be con el negation word, ya sea sí, isn't sí. o ya sea aren't. Entonces es como que hay variedades de opciones, pero todas significan lo mismo. Ah, es que el detalle fue que, que he visto que varios de mis compañeros no han podido pasar de uno donde son negativos, pues son, están correctos, pero no se las acepta la, la plataforma por, por el simple hecho de que no lo están poniendo en, en, en contraído. Oh, forma corta. ok, ok, ok. Ah. Ok. Quería saber sí. si era, era, era regla de usarlo así, eh, contraído pues en su forma corta pues, no no está piedra. marcado en piedra no eh, cualquiera de las respuestas en todo caso sería aplicable ok, okay. Um, a ver how do you say how do you say vámonos aquí a las a las h's let me see A ver, guys, in English, in English, la pregunta es, how, how old, how old are you? How, how old, how old are you? Repeat, how old are you? How old are you? Estamos hablando de ages, ages, edades, ages. How old are you? How old are you? ¿Cuántos, años, ¿Cuántos años tienes? Ajá, ¿en cuántos años estás? En el inglés es con el verbo estar. Nosotros decimos yo tengo, yo poseo, estamos diciendo I have. En español, I have, ¿verdad? Yo tengo tantos años, pero en inglés no se dice have para darle edad. Se dice con el verbo to be. Jamás van a decir I have 20 years old. No. I am, I am, con el verbo to be se dice la edad. Si yo les digo, how old are you? ¿Cuál es la respuesta? I am 24 years old. I am 39 years old. I am 39 years old. Years old. Years old. Ok, ¿quién más? How old are you? Uh, I am two one year old. 
Repeat, Fernando. I am 21 years old. Wow, hasta en cámara lenta nos los dijo Fernando para que le entendamos, guys. Thank you, Fernando. <laughs> <laughs> nice job. A ver, a ver, ¿quién más? How, how old are you? No, no se avergüencen, ¿verdad? Uh, for example, me, I, I am old, guys. Yo estoy viejo. I am old. Uh -huh. ¿Quién más? Estela. How old are you, Estela? I am 17 years old. 17 years old? So you have no Dewey. You have no, no Dewey. Right? No tienes Dewey aún. No. Okay. A ver, Jocelyn Bautista, how old are you? I am 21 old. Years old. Years old. Years old. Okay. Very well. Esa pregunta es para ti. How old are you? Yes, yeah. esa pregunta es directa para ti. Right? A ver, Ana, cara, Graciela, le hace la pregunta a un compañero. Disculpe, buenas noches, ¿cuál es su edad? ¿Cómo sería? Hello. A ver, Brenda, ¿quién me le ayuda? Excuse me. Good night, excuse me. How are all all are you? Okay, falta que perfeccionemos la pregunta de la edad. How all are you? How, how all are you? Todos. How all are you? How all are you? How all are you? How all are you? How old are you? How old are you? How old are you? I am, I am 17 I am. years old. Years old. Years. Eric, how old are you, Ronaldo? I am 28 years old. Excellent. Uh, what about you, Brenda? How old are you? I am 24 years old. Ok, you are very young. Esa pregunta es para ti. How old are you? Ahora hagámoslas en tercera persona. ¿Cuántos años está tú? How old is? Brother. brother. Puede ser. How old is your brother? Repeat, Fernando. Your brother. How old? Toda, toda. How old is your brother? How old is your brother? Okay, y ahí vamos a responder, right? Uh, he is, porque estamos hablando de él. He is uh, 40 years old. He is 45 years old. Who knows? Pero, que ahí, eh, eh, a usted hace la pregunta, ¿qué edad tienen? Y que eh, I am, es que han... Pero, Va, el I am pero... es cuando la pregunta sea para usted directamente, a uh, Graciela, right? For example, yo le digo, um, how old are you? How old are you? ¿Cuántos años está usted? Right? Usted va a decir, I am. I am 40, 45, 50 years old. Okay? Year old. Years, years old. Years. Ahora, years. si yo quiero preguntar, te estoy hablando con usted, pero quiero preguntarle de su hermano, ¿cómo sería? How old is your correct your brother? Repita esta pregunta, por favor. Three, two, one, go. How old is your brother? Is your brother third person david how, how old third person carlos how old is your brother cuántos años tiene cuántos años está voluntarios por favor volunteers how old is your brother how old is your brother Correcto. He is, porque es él. 
he is 26 years old. Excellent. How old he is? is? Repeat. How, how old, old is? is? How your brother. Correct. How old how is your brother? Congratulations. That's good. That's pretty good. Ok, vamos a lo último de esta noche. It's WH Words. Eh, no se puede utilizar ahí el how. ¿Cómo así, mis? Para decir yo tengo. ¿Yo tengo qué? La edad. A la edad yo tengo qué, 50 años. No, honey, no, honey. Explicábamos que para dar la edad en inglés siempre lo va a hacer con el verbo to be. Uh, Ajá, les comentaba que nosotros siempre decimos yo tengo, yo tengo, ¿verdad? La edad, pero en realidad um, en América lo usan con el verbo to be. Tú estás en esta edad, yo estoy en esta edad. I am, you are, todo eso, ¿verdad? El, el how old solo es para pregunta. El how old, espérate, el how es para preguntas. Solo el how, el H-O-W. Ajá. Pero aquí estoy como que apoyándome con otra palabrita. Old. How old. How eh, old. old. Eh, How traduciéndolo tal cual sería qué tan viejo eres, ¿verdad? Pero tú no le vas a preguntar a alguien así qué tan viejo eres, right? Porque old significa viejo o antiguo, right? Sí. Entonces, no, hay que interpretarlo. ¿Cuántos años tenés, verdad? No le vas a decir. ¿Qué tan viejo eres? Hey, disculpe usted, ¿qué tan viejo? No, ¿verdad? No. Entonces, uh, how old are you? How old are you? Let's watch this video out, ¿ok? Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form WH questions with B. The first thing that I would like to explain is the WH words. Whenever we say WH words we refer to the following who what when where how why on your screen you can see this words display let me write the rule to follow in order to form WH questions would be I'm gonna have a WH word plus the verb to be, plus some kind of pronoun or compliment. Let's take a look at some of the examples on the screen. What's your name? And the answer for that type of question is, my name is Jill. Who's that? And the answer for that type of question is, he's my brother. Who are they? And the answer for that type of question is, they're my classmates. Where are you from? And the answer for that type of question is, I'm from Canada. How old is he? He's 21. Where are they from? They're from Rio. How are you today? I'm just fine. What's he like? He's very nice. What's Rio like? It's very beautiful. Now it's your time to practice making some examples of your own. First, I would suggest for you to ask and answer those questions for yourself. And then for your friends and relatives, Remember, the more you practice, the easier this concept will become for you. Guys, estas preguntas son sumamente importantes. Necesito que personalicen sus respuestas. Y vamos a tener una pequeña conversación mañana. Con what? Por ejemplo, what's your name? Con where, por ejemplo, what are you from? Personalicen todo esto, please, para mañana. Right? How old is he? ¿Cuántos años tiene él? Etc. Para el, o para el lunes. Sí, es cierto, sí me emociono con ustedes. Es para el lunes. 
Monday, no class tomorrow, huh? no class tomorrow. That's right. Para el lunes entonces, chicos. Let me just go over the attendance. Podemos hacer referencia a la edad de nuestra familia ya en una, en una conversación. Me encantaría. Me encantaría porque ahí practicas lo que es la tercera persona, ¿verdad? Porque a mí lo que me gusta es que no solo nos basemos en ay, 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 porque acuérdate que hay otros subject pronouns, hay otros escenarios, no solo la primera persona. Entonces, sí, approved, approved. Ok, antes que nos vayamos, Alejandro José López Díaz, are you in the house? Bessie Elizabeth Mendoza de Soriano. Del Millecenia Casco de Cienfuegos. Present. Thank you. Thank you for being in the class. Uh, Fernando Josué Guzmán Escobar. Missing in action. Okay, and we have Isamari Beatriz Valencia Rodriguez, uh, Valencia Flores, I'm sorry. Y Hilda Gisela Shaste Torres. Present. All right, thank you. Jenny Arely Rodriguez Alfaro. Present. Thank you. Jorge Eric Ramirez, San, Ramirez Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. We have uh, Jose Miguel Soriano Rivera. Missing in action. Juan Antonio González Vides. Juan Carlos López Ayala. Bueno, that's it with the attendance. Thank you so much. Bueno, nos quedan five minutes. We still have five minutes. Vamos a avanzar acá. Let me just check here. Okay, estas preguntas les decía, guys, it's very important for me and for you to personalize them. Van a personalizarlas con su información personal, right? Uh, what's your name? Obviously, ya lo saben responder. Where are you from? Siempre con la preposición from, ¿verdad? I am from, right? La, el país, right? Y quizás la ciudad, originally también, ahí si es posible. How old are you? How old is he, right? Cualquiera de las anteriores. Y contestamos um, con el verbo to be. He is, I am, you are, right? Fíjense bien cómo se contesta. Fíjense bien qué lleva la pregunta. En este caso, um, how are you? ¿Cómo está usted? I'm just fine. Simplemente estoy bien. Ok. Um, who's that? He's my brother. Él es mi hermano. How old is he? ¿Cuántos años está él? He's 21. What's he like? He's very nice. He's cool. All right? Yeah. Estoy hablando acá de una tercera persona. Okay. Y acá de plural. Who are they? They are my classmates. Vas a hablar de alguien en plural. Ya se saben los subject pronouns en plural. Y también se saben muchos nouns en plural. Sí, se mira borroso, lo sé. Internet, internet problems, miss. Entonces, aquí está la fórmula, vean, el WH word más el verbo to be, más pronoun or complement. A ver, class, class, hagamos una media. Um, where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? Uh -huh. I am from, from, from El Salvador. Okay, okay. Um, and um, how are you today? I am fine. I am just fine. I am fine. I am just fine. 
Okay, okay. Um, okay. Right. okay, okay. Um let me see. No, that's it. That's it. That's it. So this is this is practically. Eh, si ustedes me dicen, yo les digo, where are you from? Ustedes me dicen la ciudad, right? For example, uh, Comalapa, right? For example, Oloquilta, right? So I ask you, uh, what's Oloquilta like? Y usted me dan una respuesta de cómo es el lugar, right? Oh, it's very nice. It's very hot. It's very cold. Acordémonos de las uh, contraction. Who is? Podemos decir who's. Yes. Quién Who is? es o quién está. Who's. Vamos a hacer una pequeña práctica. Vamos a escoger a. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let's choose. What about Brenda? Brenda Mejia, are you in the house, Brenda? Yeah, te escucho algo lejos. Vamos a ver a alguien más. Uh, bueno, practiquemos con toda la clase, ya que ya nos vamos todos. Yo les digo, what's your name? ¿Qué me dicen? What's your name? My, My name, name, name is Gardena. And where are you from? I am, I am from El Salvador. And what's El Salvador like? It's very, it's very beautiful. Very nice. Very mighty. Okay. And how old are you? I am 24 years old. I am 21 years old. 21, 21. Um, and how old is your mother or father? She is 45 years old. 43. Excellent. And my father is... And where is your father from? He is... From El Salvador. El Salvador? <laughs> All right, excellent. Just no questions with the bird to be. And WH words. Is this on WH words? La formula está acá. Usamos un WH word. Usamos el bird to be y un pronoun. Okay. Okay. Yes. That's it. That's it. That's it. Tomorrow we're going to have a practice with that. Mañana vamos a tener una pequeña práctica oral con estas preguntas. Lunes. 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 Oh. Monday. 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 Es que tengo Monday. otra clase Monday. y okay. antes de ustedes tengo otra clase a las seis. So con ellos es Monday to Friday. So that's why I always confuse. Okay. Monday, I see you on Monday, guys. Do um, hey, you have any question? Hasta ahorita, any question so far? No, no question. Vaya, una pequeña práctica, vaya. Yo voy a decir la respuesta, ustedes me dicen la pregunta. A ver, a ver. What's your name? No, yo voy a decir la respuesta. No. Um, I am 38 years old. How, how, old how, how, how old are you? How old are you? Okay, my father is 71 years old. How old is your brother? Okay, 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 okay. Um, it's it's a very beautiful country. What's El Salvador like? What's El Salvador like? Nice job, nice job. I am from Santa Ana originally. Where are you from? Where are, Where you, are you, from? you from? Excellent, guys. Fantastic. Nos quedamos hasta aquí. Thank you for your participation. I'll see you Monday. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, Monday, right? I'll see you Monday. Happy weekend. Thank you. Happy Happy weekend. Weekend. Thank Be you, safe. You. Practice your English. Monday. See you Monday, guys. Be safe. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. Good night, class.